hey beauties welcome back so guys in today's video of course you can tell it's going to be a makeup tutorial video so I'll be trying out this palette by essence so this is the epic sunset eyeshadow palette guys this palette is like a must-have for this winter or fall let me say fall all right the colors are beautiful you'll see better when i take off the floor like you see so beautiful and i love these two shades on the bottom like the deepest shade on the bottom i love it so this is me trying to swatch it for you guys to see how the pigments pay off so I would tell you that with hand washing it didn't really do much like it didn't wow me but I decided to wait till when I try it on my eyes all right so this is me trying out the match the matte shade on the palette I think it's just two or three yeah the both on the bottom and one on the top the first one on the top so this is another palette this is a highlighter by essence also and this is the power crystal power uh, palette here yeah? so this is they said this is um highlight or blush and highlight but guys there is not there is nothing i can use as a blush here definitely i'm going to use them as highlight so i decided to swatch them and guys the the pigment paid off like it was beautiful so yeah you can tell with my hands even didn't do much or didn't do crazily with, on my hands but you'll tell later on so this is um me trying to start up with my face so you guys can tell i already did my base using the concealer i use in cleaning my brows so now i'm just reblending the creased area so i'm taking that shade from the palette and i'm adding that or i'm placing that on the top part of my crease as my transition shade and i'm going to continue adding and blending adding them at first i was tapping like you know tapping it on my lid then before i'll go to blend everything all together you can tell right here so that's basically what i'm doing i will tell you that this um shade it's perfect for transition color especially for um women of color and this palette will be good for every skin tone you get so if it does work for me to work for any other you know any other skin tone so this is what it looks like and it blends seamlessly it blends beautifully but it does have a fallout like a bit of fallout as you can see me show you here it has a bit of fallout but that's not a problem at all as long as doing what it's meant to do so now i'm going into that other shade that i just showed you using the bh cosmetics uh, pointing brush so i'm adding this on my crease line so this is just going to direct me on where to cut because i'll be doing a cut crease you know today so that's basically what i'm doing so i'm applying the shades and i'm blending it out which i will be going in with the brush I use in applying my transition shade to blend everything out seamlessly and guys you will see how the colors blended into each other seamlessly like effortlessly you can tell you see you see that it blends easily so it's really really good I love it like that was the first impression you know bought me off so now I've gone ahead to cut my crease and this is what I have I'm going in with this shade right here that I'm showing you mind you the part these names the names of the shadow has what am I saying like all of these shadows has name if I can I will put the name on the screen all right so I went ahead to take that shade and apply it halfway on my crease so because I already know that it does have fallout so I wet my brush before applying it and it applied like butter and that was so beautiful so I went in with a deeper shade and I'm going to add that to the rest part of the eyes of my lid of course but I'm going to leave a bit of space on the outer V so this is me trying to blend everything I mean where both colors met you know trying to blend them into each other so there won't be you know demarcation or there won't be an obvious demarcation so I'm going back to this I am um, uh, this shade from the same palette with these 
um, pointing brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm just adding that on the outer V or the outer part of my eyes of course to blend everything all together okay so here my boy was cracking me up and that was why I was laughing so hard so yeah this is basically it guys and one thing that really got me excited about this whole look is I never expected it to turn out this beautifully and it did guys you know that this palette was just 9 euro 95 cents less than 10 euros and you can tell how excited I was you know with the eye look or how satisfied yeah that's the word but yeah so highlight my brow bone I'm taking this yellow golden looking shade right there to highlight my brow bone and I will also go ahead to blend um, the brow bone color into the crease color so it blends or oh, how is it called yeah so it blends or oh, so it looks <laughs> seamless all right so this is it and you can tell my brow bones it, my brow bones are popping all right so this is me going back with that um um yeah the brush i used in applying my transition shade to blend them all out all right so now over to the face so because i already did my skin prep i already did my skin prep so there was no need to start doing any other thing if you know me i'm not really big on primer of course is necessary but hey, whenever i do my skincare i'm just good to go to apply my foundation and also i'm using this the foundation as you can see or as you saw is by huda beauty and the reason i didn't color correct in this video is because this foundation has uh, orange undertone which i believe was just okay you know without me color correcting okay so this is me highlighting the areas i needed to highlight with the la girl concealer in toffee and i am blending this out using the red techniques a brush okay so that's basically what i'm doing right here i'm just going to leave you guys to keep on watching i think oh okay so now i'm going <laughs> i'm going back and forth with the found foundation brush or the brush i used in apply my foundation to blend in the concealer so it doesn't look or oh, there is no demarcation or lines all right so to set my face i'm using the benign powder guys you can tell that big smile on my face because it's been a minute i use this benign powder oh it's been a minute i use this benign powder so that's what i'm using and i'm using the Reed techniques uh cheek brush of course it works for me guys so that's why i keep using it all right so that is basically what I'm doing and I'm going to continue doing that until I'm done, if that makes sense. <laughs> so for my contour, I'm taking that shade, that same shade I used uh, in dipping my outer V to do my contour. And I'm this brush is by Eberlin. It's really perfect for contour it's easy to use all right so to set my face and to blend in my contour i'm using the uh, matte base powder by makeup revolution in the shade f8 i'm uh, sorry no this is powder um p18 all right so that's what i'm using i'm just using it to blend in the con the contour and taking off the essay setting powder so now i'm setting my face using the manhattan insta primer set you guys know this is my ride and die all right i've gone to apply my lashes by mimo lashes this is by colorseal.com and the lash adhesive i used or the lash glow i use is also by mimo lashes by colorseal.com so you can use my discount code to get some percentage off if you get anything from their website all right so now i'm going into my waterline or my bottom waterline with a black pencil and i'm going to take that shade i use as a contour with this um pointed brush by bh cosmetics to smudge out the black pencil and to just make everything look seamless all right now i'm going in with that champagne looking kind of color on the bottom how am I going to explain this? Anyways, guys, you saw that. Anyways, <laughs> so for my blush, this is the Catrice um, blush, all right? So that's what I'm using. You guys must have seen me use this over and again, okay? It's not new. 
all right so that's it and by the time I'm done all right now it's time to try this baby girl so at first I was thinking to use the white one mm, I was like not try yourself fool so I decided to go in with these um golden shade right here guys it was beautiful like it turned out beautiful at first I thought it wasn't showing but as I continue you know uh, buffing it on my cheek oh I was like wow this is it so it really popped and I really really like it it turned out beautiful it didn't like it wasn't ashy on my skin tone at all it was a perfect perfect shade so yeah you, you guys you guys can tell by yourself I'm sorry if I'm rushing guys <laughs> it's, it's late it's late so I need to do this voice over all right so this is me highlighting the areas I needed to highlight all right mm -hmm. so I'm going to go over I'm going to go over my forehead with a uh, that brush I use in um, in setting my face okay because the the highlight on my forehead was you know not blending right so now I went in with that white shade from the highlight palette and I'm just popping it on my cheek just a little bit and a bit on my nose so for my lipstick or for my lip color i'm combining these lip color by uh, l'oreal and the one by um dose of color so that's what i'm doing right here and i i was shocked i was surprised they came out nice like both of them blended well into each other and you can see how i'm feeling already <laughs> So now I'm just setting my face one more time for that glow. So at this point, guys, I was like, should I leave the hair packed up to the packed to the back, or I should leave it? I should let it drop. Mm, but I decided to let it drop. All right, <laughs> you know. So this is me just trying to put my hair in place and style it a little bit. You know just to make it look different to make it look different i just didn't want to look basic today like you know my regular me you get so this is what i have or this is what i came up with and i was really feeling myself i was feeling myself believe me you anyways guys so this is the finished look let me know your thought in the comment section below if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe okay until next time guys stay beautiful and be blessed bye guys Mwah. i love you